at 93.1 FM, 1530 AM. Welcome back, welcome back. Well, Rob Reimers has been down in Delta going as many different places as he can. I think you're going to be fishing there all fall and winter. And uh, he's having fun doing it. Uh, he goes out a few times a week, travels around, looks for fish. Sometimes he has good days, sometimes okay days. Let's find out which he had recently. Good morning, Rob. Good morning, Bob. So, uh, you having fun down there? Yeah. Um, well, I started with our trip last Saturday that, you know, I was talking about when I was on the show. Uh, I took uh, Chuck from Western Outdoor News and a friend of mine, Steve Sadu, and his sister and her husband, and we all went out. And we had a pretty good day. Uh, we started up at um, Decker Island, which there wasn't much there, and then started working our way down the West Bank. And wound up down at the lower end of West Bank, and we got into some fish, and we wound up having a pretty good day. Uh, we probably hooked up about 12 keepers, um, and then a few shakers, I don't remember how many. And uh, we wound up keeping seven fish, but uh, we had a pretty good day. I think Chuck will probably have an article in the Western Outdoor News on that one. Yeah, good. And then, good. Yeah, and then, um, you know, the Delta and its way of doing things humbled me on Sunday because I took a couple guys out <laughs> and we just shot down there to the same spot, you know, right out of the gate. And we got down there, we didn't hardly catch anything. We caught maybe like one, one keeper and couple of shakers uh it was it was tough and then we started hunting around and uh all in all that day it, it was it was tougher on us you know we got a couple keepers and you know i don't remember how many shakers a number of them but uh it, it was just uh it was just tougher bite sunday and then uh most of the week i had my truck i put my truck in the shop if anybody heard me at the boat ramp lately they know why because i had an exhaust leak and my truck around the park. <laughs> it was kind of embarrassing, but uh, I finally, finally lined up some time where I had some time to get it in there, and they had time to work on it, so I uh, got that all fixed. And then I, I went out fishing yesterday with uh, Clyde Wands and Mark Wilson, and we had—I I thought we had a pretty okay day because we went, we went all over the Delta. Um, we left from um, Brandon Island and went left and went out there and fished to San Joaquin and fished some spots along there, wound up down at Broad Slough and just made the corner all the way around and come back up uh, the West Bank. And um, we were hooking a lot of fish, but um, there were a lot of them getting off on us. You know, we, we caught our limits. Uh, you know, we had an okay day, we caught our limits, but I bet we lost you know at least a dozen fish and not you know 15 16 you know it, it was a lot of fish um but i'll tell you one thing for sure you can't clyde had the hot rod now you can't count out the old time run <laughs> fishing, man. God, i bet he hooked up more fish than me and mark combined you know he was yeah. he was having a good day so <laughs> Well, you know, it almost sounds like, you know, with the way the fish were, were coming unbuttoned, is what a, f a lot of fish do, do during this full moon cycle, they're just not as aggressive when they take the lure. We just had a report from over at Berryessa. They were just barely pulling the, the lure off the downrigger cliff rather than just smashing. It sounds like the same deal. Yeah, and there was more factors, you know, we had a full moon, big tides, uh, you know, we had this front coming in, you know, they'll go on a feeding frenzy a lot of times when there's a cold front, but on this front, uh, you know, it could mess up the bite as well as it could have made it better, and uh, uh, it was just exactly that, they just weren't being that aggressive, they were just kind of slapping at the lure, and just not you know taking it deep or we got them hooked uh, mm -hmm. but you know it, it was a lot of fun hooking up a lot of fish you know so uh it was it, to me it was a good day yeah well it sounds like it it sounds like it yeah and, and, and i did i did have uh some videos i took some video yesterday so there'll be a video on that so anybody's interested in seeing clyde and mark fishing and me together then uh it's coming up Go to Rustic Rob's Guide Service on U YouTube, huh? Yep. When will it be up there? 
Well, I haven't even got into starting editing the, the film yet, so uh, I'll try to get it done this weekend, maybe get it up tomorrow night, maybe yeah. Monday okay. or something like okay. that. Okay, so. good deal. Okay, Rob, we'll keep up the good work. We'll check with you next week. I hope it continues good. Yeah, me too. <laughs> okay, see you later. Rob Reimers, Rustic Rob's Guide Service, 530-632-0051. I do want to send a heartfelt message to uh, Diane Feinstein's family. A Democrat, but you know what? I